Adam Lerner, BrooklynPhotoWorks.com, and today I've got a little quick tip or nugget for you guys that are using the Squarespace platform. One thing that I've noticed when navigating through a bunch of Squarespace websites is that there are occasions when I accidentally, or maybe I hit the escape key because I want to get out of a certain mode. So let's say I'm looking at something in a thumbnail mode or I want to get back somewhere. I just, I'm a very keyboard command uh, kind of guy. I'm always using the keyboard for stuff for shortcuts. And oftentimes, you know, I'll be scrolling around in somebody's website and I'll hit the escape key and look what happens, okay? I get to the Squarespace configuration page. Now I'm at the Squarespace configuration page. There's nothing for me to do. I can't click on anything here, and it doesn't really look professional. I'm like thinking to myself, why am I on this person's configuration page? So it's not very cool. So what I can show you guys right here is I will go to my website. Okay, so here we are. We're at my website. We're going to pop in there. And, um, you know, we'll just scroll around for a little bit there. And then let's say we hit the escape key. Boom. And look what happens. It takes you to the configuration page. So I want to eradicate that. So what I'm going to do here is because I'm logged in, it took me to the configuration page. And I am going to go to settings. I'm going to go to advanced. I'm going to go to escape key. And right here it says log in with the escape key. Now I believe this is checked off by default. So I'm going to uncheck that and I'm going to hit save. Okay, cool. Now let me go to my website again and we'll pop in there for a minute. And now when I hit the escape key, that's me clicking on the escape key nothing happens okay now i think that that's a pretty cool thing to have let's say when you're first building your website so therefore you can go back and forth very quickly to the configuration page so you don't have to let's say launch another you know tab or another page in your browser but once you get your site built i think it's a really good idea to deactivate because i don't want to end up here and i'm sure that none of your clients want to end up here as well all right so there you have it a little quick tip or a squarespace nugget if you will if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and we'll see you soon mm -hmm.